Okay, there's a good Saturn, Saturn LLC. Today's June 19th, 2023. And uh, finally getting around to checking the highs on my property. So, this is a shed removal. Did a few months back, it was a pretty big hive. And uh, let's take a look at it, see how it's doing. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of bee activity up here. Not too much. Oh, they're actually building out comb pretty good. So, I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. See, there's nothing on that side there. Check out this side over here. And there's another one, just like it. So, and then there's the last one they have on here that they got comb built on. But as you can see, they're doing a pretty good job on a building this hive out, so that's good, happy about that. Now let's see how the queen is doing. If, I know she wasn't looking too good. I remember uh, when I was moving the hive. Oh yeah, when I, was, uh, when I put her in here, she wasn't looking too good, so. So hopefully they uh, let her out and uh, She's doing a heck of a lot better. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I even need this frame here. I don't know. See. Here's my queen clip right here. Or queen where I had her. Let me, uh, yeah, I don't even think they need that extra box up there. See, they're not building anything up down here yet, so. Look at this, they're building a nice comb on there, so that's good. I mean, they're building the comb out really nice, what they have on here, so that's good. Let me grab this here, see if I can't. Uh... Yeah, it looks like they're building these two together, so I don't even want to be able to grab that queen cup out of there. Oh, they build... oh maybe not. I... Nope, all right, there we go. Oh, shoot. See that? Don't like that. Don't know that's a... Well, that might just be the insulation from the hive itself, but... So I can remove that there. Uh, see some larvae down there, not too much. So, a lot of pollen stuff in here. See if I can't. Ah, oh, there we go. So they did get the bottom of it off, so hopefully uh, she is out and about doing her thing. Yeah, they built all this comb. They're building the comb this way, so I'm not going to be able to get into it and see exactly what's going on. So I don't even know if they're going to uh, have queen in here or not. Like I said, I saw some larva at the bottom of this. Oh, wait, I see some in there. Yeah, they have some. All right. So that one I just removed the queen clip from. Yeah, there's larva and stuff in there, so that's good. So, or not, yeah, I see brood and stuff, so, so we're good then. So, these girls have a queen. All right. And this was a pretty big hive. I mean, it looks like, uh, I don't know if a bunch of them absconded or what happened. It's not as big as uh, it definitely was when I first uh, brought it over. But it's doing good. So let me put it back together and we'll move on to the next one.
It's a little warm today. I'm gonna lie. I didn't check the temperature today, but uh, I'll check it here in a little bit. But all right, that's it for this one here. Uh, all right, well, this is my plastic pipe, so let's check this one here. See how it's doing. Here. I haven't been in this one in a while, so let's see how, how it's doing. Hopefully, I mean, there's activity on it, so that's always a good sign, but that's just uh, poor beekeeping on, on my part. All right, yeah, there's bees up here, quite a few. Look at that. We have some comb built out. Uh, these are the plastic foundations I use, or the wax foundations I use on them that I didn't secure properly. But I know how to secure them properly, so next time I'll actually uh, do that the right way. Oops. Look, they're building out the comb bill on that, so that's good. So. Judging by this one, I doubt we'll have a, well, I'm gonna say I doubt we'll have a harvest right now, but I think the, see, but like this next one looks like it might be almost ready to harvest. bring a little yeah look this one here is almost well that side ready to harvest and then this side over here almost then that middle one there that one's definitely ready to harvest these are freaking heavy let me see how many I have that are ready to harvest and then we'll uh, go from there so there's that one there in the middle Shoot, that ain't coming out, but one, two. Three. It looks like I might have five in here that are ready to harvest, so we'll uh we'll uh I gotta get some of those wax foundations set up, so I'm gonna get at least uh, six, seven frames set up just to be on the safe side. So here in like the next two weeks or so, I'll come in and harvest some of that honey there and uh yeah but uh i don't know let me check the bottom and see how that's there's doing because i don't want to i mean this actually seems to be doing pretty good it's uh, uh i want to say i've had this plastic hive for a little bit over a year and uh Maybe one or two, I'm not sure, but it's definitely doing really freaking good. So, that's good. I might actually, a little bit more pricey, but if the polystyrene hives don't work out, I'm definitely uh, gonna switch to these. Uh, <laughs> definitely gonna switch to these. Uh, plastic hives, but I might actually break down and actually buy the uh, more expensive ones, the, uh, what do they call them, the Apple Me Hives, 
But yeah, we'll see. It's just a lot of expenses and not enough money. And right now, this is just a hobby that brings me a little bit of side money, but not enough to make a living and justify some of these expenses. I'm going to the Fontana Hive today, so I'm going to grab some more, uh, some more uh, needles and stuff while I'm there. Two uh, pine needles to start my smoker up with. bees do have a tendency to get a little pissed every now and then and then uh, they go after the bees or not the bees uh, they go after the, the chickens so can't remember if I could get into the bottom of this one here or not. I don't know how they built the, the comb I say there's nothing over here, so that's good. Well, not good, but I'm just saying it was easier to come in this side. And this one, I just want to check, make sure things run, like she needs to be laying. And then we'll go from there. This one looks like just a honey freaking frame. Not too much, but it's got some on there. It's got a couple drones we've seen in here. <sighs> Alright, I've seen brood already, so that's good. That's, uh, That's all honey there. But this next one's brood. So, I wonder if I can. Oh, there's a lizard underneath this thing. I was going to pull this out to give a more uh, ventilation at the bottom. And <laughs> there's a lizard. Guess he must be hanging out down there, munching on, uh, on bees and stuff as they come in, huh? This one should have brood in it, and then... Yeah, see? It's got brood in it there, so... And then the next one does too, and it looks like a pretty good lane pattern, so... That's all I wanted to check, so... We're done with this one here. I'm just doing the... Bare minimum, because it's freaking hot, and... Try to get this done earlier, but I had other stuff to do. Tell you guys, that is freaking heavy. Mm -hmm. 
which is good. And I like how these clip together. I like that, it just makes it easier to put everything back together. So. Next, we're gonna go in like this. My poly's done. See how that one's doing. Uh, that one. I don't remember where I got that one from. I gotta do my research on it. Uh, it's uh, that was a removal. Uh, It wasn't the railroad tie one. Oh yeah, this one's doing good too. So let's see. Yeah, this one was not the railroad tie removal. Can't remember. I'll have to uh, go look at videos and see where this one came from, but, uh, oh yeah, look at that, so they're building the coma really good, they don't have all the, all the, uh, rubber bands off yet, but, I mean, it's doing really good, I'm not going too deep into this one either, because I just want to make sure they have a queen that's laying, and look at that, they have a queen that's laying, so, uh, Alright, so that's good enough for this one here, so this polystyrene one seems to be doing really good, so that's good. And then uh I just keep this one strapped down because it is styrofoam and I'm worried that it might be too light and uh, something will cause it to run away. And that's the last thing I want is to lose a hive because I'm too lazy to do things uh, the right way. Alright, and now this one. Let me turn you guys around. We're just going to check this one here. It's the uh, entertainment video I just posted. So, uh, I just want to see how it's doing. If it's doing good, I'll go ahead and open up that entrance if it looks like the queen's laying on it, and then we'll go from there. But, uh, we'll see, because I never found the queen on this one, so I'm hoping I vacuumed her up, but not 100% sure. And, there was, there isn't any today, but yesterday I took a peek over here and uh, I saw ants coming into it, so look at these, see, I actually attached the, the wax the proper way, look how that's holding up, the bomb's a little flimsy, but uh, the bees are building up the comb and then they'll attach it at the bottom, hopefully, so they're building up comb, that's good, and uh, then this is, uh, their comb that I brought from them that wasn't really uh oh yeah you heard me say who yeah right and the reason is this thing's full of eggs so that means I did get the queen and she's lean so let me check a couple more because this one isn't that big of a hive so let me check uh looks like some of the comb fell down at the bottom so I'll try to grab these as best as I can. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't have my kit, but uh, there's my queen right there. See her? So, alright. So we are good. Not only did I verify we had a queen, I actually saw her, so. And yeah, and she's got eggs in here like crazy, so that's good. I might actually, uh, end up feeding this one here 
just to uh, give it a little bit of a boost with the, with the uh, building up of the of the comb and stuff. So that's good. So the Queen's Lane, I'm not going to open up that front just yet. I'm going to give it a little bit more just in case uh, they don't like me coming in here and decide they're going to take off on me. But there is eggs from the Queen, so that is good. So that's it for this one here. I'm going to shoot another video later on today, but it'll be a whole separate series on the uh, Montana hives. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, don't forget to